In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix all Euro Truck Simulator 2 crashes on PC or laptop. So the first thing you have to check before we start is that you have the minimum requirements for the game. So if you want to play the game, your minimum requirements are the operating system of at least Windows 7, the processor as you can see over here, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and then the graphic card should be at least this one on the screen, and then your hard drive should have at least 3 gigabytes of available space. Then let's proceed to the possible fixes. The first one would be to verify the integrity of game files. Now the way you do this is by going to Steam, and then once you're inside Steam, you want to go to your library and look for your Euro Truck Simulator 2 game, right click on it, and press properties. Now when you will have this installed, when you will have uh, your Euro Truck game installed, you will see there will say uh, a button on the left, it will say installed files. You want to click on it and then where it says verify the game's files are installed correctly, you want to click verify integrity of game files and then just wait for the process to continue and to finish up. Now once you've done that, you can also check for mod errors on your computer. Now to see if the mods are the issue for you, you want to go to your C drive inside users and your username into documents and then find the Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder. In there, you want to check the game.log.txt file for mod errors. Simply open up that file and if there are any errors with certain mods, you may want to do one of the three things. So you may want to either uh, update the mod, you may want to uh, roll back the game, so to the previous version, or you may want to just delete the mod whatsoever, okay? So these are three options. Then the next one would be to clear your game cache files. So the way you do this is by pressing Windows and R on your computer. So simply press Windows plus R, and then this will open up over here, the run window, and you want to type in percent public percent, and then the backward slash documents. And then once you've done that, you want to press OK, and this folder will open up. You want to look for the Steam folder. Now, I don't have it in here because I have no games installed from Steam on this computer. Um, you want to look for Steam folder and simply right click on it. And then you want to delete it. Up here, press delete. And that's it. Now, after that, you may want to open the Steam back up again and see if that fixed the issue. Now, before you do this, of course, you have to uh, close down Steam. So, um, you have to simply shut down Steam and then delete them, those files, and then open it up back again. Now, once you've done that, you may want to also update your graphics driver. Now, in case your graphics driver is old, you may want to download new drivers, uh, depending on which graphics card you use, and that may fix the issue. Then, what you can also do is run the game as an administrator. Now, the way you do this is by uh, finding your game on your desktop uh, and your Steam icon on your desktop. And the first thing you want to do is go to your Steam icon, right click it, press show more options, and then over here you want to go to properties. In there, you want to go to compatibility, here on the right, and press run this program as an administrator. You want to click on it, and then press apply, and then OK. And then you want to do the exact same thing for the game as well. So you have your Euro Truck Simulator uh, shortcut on your desktop, you want to simply uh, right click on it and do the exact same process, OK? And then once you've done that, if that didn't work, you may want to reinstall your game. So simply come to Steam and then uh, find your Euro Truck Simulator game inside your library, completely uninstall the game. And then once you've done that, you can try restarting your computer and open up Steam back again and install your Euro Truck Simulator again. And hopefully that fixed your issue. So I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, make sure to subscribe to the channel.